Hey there, studiers, how's it going? I hope things are good for you. Now, if you've not been here before, my name's Dr. Mark Egan. Now, this is part of a series of videos about how to do a proposal. I've got some examples, and I'm gonna be giving a commentary, going through them, giving you some really illuminating thoughts. It really helps when you can see an actual example and how it unfolds before you. Now, this is one that is actually a PhD thesis. So I think for those people who are wanting to do a PhD thesis and also do a proposal for a dissertation, there's a lot that you can glean from this. It might be a little bit longer because it was for a PhD, but it has the same structure that you would be using for a master's thesis. Now, I want to know what you think of it as well. Stay to the end because I'll be giving it a mark. Overall, what I think of it if this was a master's dissertation proposal. And also, give me your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Did you think it was a good effort? Do you think it was poor? What were the weaknesses? Do you agree with me? We can all be markers and we can all judge work together. So today's example is taken from the University of Leicester. They posted it on their website. I'll put down the link below so you can go and see that as well. And I'm going to go through and look at some of the strengths and the weaknesses and give a guide and talk through and let you know my opinions. Okay, so here we have the research proposal. We've got a provisional title here, Social Media and the Hidden Spaces of Online Identity Management. This sounds really good, nice and succinct. It's got a site, a location in terms of being about social media. It's got some nice strong themes there, which we know will have academic work and background in terms of work that's gone on trying to understand social media, the hidden spaces. I know research around that area and of course, online identity. So there's lots of burgeoning work on these different themes and topics. So the topic itself on social networking and interaction, we read these first few sentences. They are looking at, in particular, focusing on Facebook and understanding relations of social networking platform. And this first paragraph then, they're given an outline, an overview, particular happenings on, on, on Facebook, and they've got some references in there as well. So they're, they're demonstrating an initial understanding of some of the literature in some online behavior and online spaces. So this first section is the initial topic or overview, trying to give a context and a rationale for the, for the research that they're going to undertake. In this next paragraph as well, they talk here then and going through about some of the phenomena which we might experience in, in these spaces such as Facebook online. They've got some theory and some data there as well. They talk about some of the interactions which would be going on and the exchanges happening on a social media platform such as Facebook. And in particular, the, the richness of the social interactions that will occur there and the computer mediated communications. So they're starting to use nice academic language and terms and show an awareness of this context. In this next section here, I'm just gonna outline, they're talking about research which has gone on in terms of social networking sites. In these paragraphs, they talk about how social networking sites have been understood. And in particular, they're looking to narrow the focus down to online identities and how these identities might be constructed through the mediums of online platforms. You know, a really viable and potential area to study. Clearly states in the second paragraph what the project aims are to look at the interactions on Facebook in terms of talking language and discursive makeup. So how do people uh, create their identity? How do they communicate their identity? What different mediums and forms of expression are they using? How are conversations constructed? How is identity formed and mediated through the platform using various things such as images? In this next section here, they've laid out these specific questions. So they've got the central question of how is interaction negotiated, managed and rhetorically and discursively created on Facebook? I think this is a really excellent question. It pinpoints itself towards academic fields of looking at discourse and, and rhetorical understanding of identity. I think it could be improved by having a stronger relationship to identity. So I would be looking at rather than saying how is interaction negotiated, but how is identity negotiated, managed and discursively created on Facebook? I think this would be an excellent question for a thesis, be it masters or PhD. They've also then as well having a main question, they've got four sub questions which relate to this as well. And they're all relevant, they're all connected and they're all interlinked. So this first section regarding the context, I think it's a really good attempt. I think it lays the foundations, it identifies coherent themes, bodies of research, and the questions are well constructed and thoughtfully put. Now onto the methodology. So they've got a nice section here 
on data collection. It's all really clear. They're talking about using innovative methods. And I think, you know, a social media platform would lend itself nicely to different visual methods, who they would be speaking to. They've also got some literature to support what they're saying. In this section here, they've referred to other studies. So I think the data collection is a really good outline about how they would go about gathering this actual data on Facebook who they would be speaking to and what demographics of people they would be accessing. We also then next have this section on data analysis. So this is a really viable and legitimate way of analyzing the data. They're talking in certain parts here about using discourse analysis, which would go nicely with the sorts of content that they would be gathering in terms of interactions on the platform, conversations and messages through images and through text would lend itself really nicely to using this discourse analysis. Perhaps they could have had a little bit more about actual forms of discourse analysis, critical discourse analysis, supported it with some academic text I think would improve. We also have this section on the ethics of the data gathering. In particular, there's issues of privacy, which they're aware of and that they address, and also gaining consent from the people who might be participating in the study. All in all, I think it's a good ethics section. Here then, this is where they do the good work of situating it with existing literature. So this is the theoretical literature overview and they start to talk about how they would be drawing on Irving Goffman's work, in particular, presentation of the self in everyday life. I've seen this work used before where they're talking about the branded self, different forms of the hopeful self or the idealized self that people represent online. They then talk about some nice literature on computer mediated discourse. They've also got a nice section how the project relates to future knowledge areas and they've separated that in three distinct ways. They've then talked about previous work in the field and then they've summed this up in the paragraph. There's an excellent provision of the timeline as they go through how this will be happening. As this is a, a PhD proposal, they've actually gone through this over three years and um, perhaps into the fourth year here as well. And then they've got a nice bibliography at the end with all the, the literature regarding this area of study that they want to be looking at. My overall comment, I'm really impressed with this. I think it's really coherent. It's really logically constructed and thought through. They've chosen some excellent academic areas and themes to look at in terms of online identity. They've chosen a particular location in Facebook. We can see how they'd be able to gather the data by finding participants online to, to interview or to monitor or watch and observe. There's also different forms of identity theory that they can draw on to understand. And there's lots of work and studies which are already populating this field. So there'll be extensive literature to draw on and there'll be ways to situate a uniqueness of this work amongst that literature. Literature. If this was a master's dissertation proposal, certainly be looking to give this a very high mark into the high 70s, 80s perhaps. There's very little fault that we can find. They would be assured of a, of a good mark in the 80s, I would suggest. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful today. We'll wrap that up there. It's been a nice illuminating understanding of doing a, a dissertation proposal on identity online and how we might apply different theories. A really good overview, well written, well formed, well structured, and would certainly receive a high mark. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye, studiers.